Hello YouTube friends and uh, pals out there. I'm here to do a wig review. My name is uh, Tracy Renee. I'm doing a wig review on the Uptown Equal. Actually, if you're wondering why I'm not looking straight ahead, because I'm looking into my iPod. I don't know exactly where the camera is. In fact, uh, I guess I'm looking into it right now. So let's just say I'm looking right at you guys, I hope. Okay? Anyway, this is the Model Model Uptown Beach. Okay, it is a half wig. I'm going to show you. It's a half wig. Uh, my hair is straight underneath, so it doesn't exactly blend. I got this in a, let's look at the package here. All right, I got this in a OM701, and that's like the lady right here. Okay, and it does have two combs here and a drawstring in the back. Mine is ombre with the blonde in the bottom. Okay, and she is about 26 inches, no longer than that. Okay, and so the brown is on top, which I don't really like. I would have liked it a lot better if they had ombre it all in one, like, you know, brown here, and then it fades into blonde. Okay, but um, I guess I did the best I could with that, and they do have another one that is out that's like that. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys how she looks in the back. She is, uh, she can be curled. She's Futura. I don't intend to curl her any more than I intend to take my hair out in the front. So, um, I have enough hair to mess with this, but the thing is, is that it's not the same color. It's the texture, but it's not the same color because I'm not natural underneath. I'm really straight underneath. But anyway, I'll show you guys how it looks in the back. Okay, so that's how it looks in the back with the blonde and my head is back so it looks like it's 30 inches when actually it's not it okay it almost is 30 inches the blonde part all right so that's the thing the brown part this brown part here and the blonde part are two different lengths so I would say that the darker part is about 24 the other part is about 28 so that should be about right Okay. Anyway, I like her, and uh, she reminds me a lot of this other one called Omnia. Uh, I forgot who makes that, but this is very reminiscent of that. As I was saying once before in one of my other videos, these wig companies tend to all make the same wig and give them different names. Okay, so it's a matter of choosing which name and which company you want to go with, because either way, you're going to get the same wig. All right. <laughs> So uh, I have learned that the hard way. I bought model model in uh, different shades, and only to realize that if I had bought it by Otre, same wig. If I bought it by Free Trust, same wig. Okay. They even go so far as to making the same exact uh, pattern and everything as anybody else that's that's made it. So I don't know what to think. Anyway, I got this from HairSisters.com. And it came really fast. It came, uh, I got it week before last when I ordered it days before that. So uh, this is it. And it was about $24.99 because it's a half wig. All half wigs are pretty much cheap. It's the full cap and the lace fronts that uh, start jumping up to about $34. Sometimes more than that if you go to Elevate Styles or if you go to uh, HairCloset.com or uh, a couple of those other ones. Uh, Hairwig Harlem, which I've ordered from. I've ordered from all of them except for Diva Dress and Elevate Styles. I don't think I've ordered from them. All right, so this is what it looks like. And you can dig my little Pink Panther shirt. Okay. And uh, this is pretty much it. This is her. And I like her. And I would say don't forget to uh, rate and subscribe. And let me know what you think about this uh, new baby here. And I have one more wig that I'm going to review pretty soon and tell you guys about it. And I'll tell you when I get it. Alright? Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate all the uh, views. And I appreciate a whole lot more. And uh, thanks so much. Bye.